Hello and welcome back to another video. In this problem, we're given the function g as g of x is equal to negative 3x squared plus 36x minus 104. Now, we're given the function f as defined by f of x is equal to g of x minus 2. So that means that this is going to be shifted two units to the right. But we don't have to worry about that right now. Let's just find the vertex, which is, I should say, we're being asked at which value of x will f of x reach its maximum value. Let's find that for g of x, and then we can just move it two to the right for f of x. So how do you find it for g of x? Well, we have to know is that for any parabola, the vertex is going to be halfway in between, when looking at it from the x uh, direction, halfway between the two x-intercepts. So if you add these two values together and then divide them by two, you're going to get whatever your vertex is. So what is that for a quadratic? Well, if you go by the quadratic formula, the two solutions are going to be negative b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac over 2a. So what we're saying is that if you get the average of these, so add them together and then divide by 2, we're going to get whatever the value of the vertex is. So what happens when you add them and divide by 2? Well, if you see this plus or minus, that's going to help us out a lot. So we have negative b plus the square root of b squared minus 4ac over 2a plus negative b minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac over 2a. We're adding those, dividing them by 2. So on top, we're going to have negative b plus the square root of b squared minus 4ac um, minus b minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac. You can combine these together because they have a common denominator. Note that if we're dividing by 2a and then dividing by 2 again, we can multiply the things in the denominator. So that's going to be divided by 4a plus b squared minus 4ac under our square root minus the same thing. These are just going to cancel. We're going to left with negative 2b divided by 4a. And if you want to divide both sides by 2, you can make it a little bit easier. This is basically dividing by 2 over 2, which is 1. So we're going to have negative b on top, 2a on the bottom. Plug in these values, so ax squared plus bx plus c. Plug in the corresponding values, and you're going to get your x value for the vertex. So what is that going to be? So for b, that's going to be 36. So it's going to be 36 negative over 2 times a is negative 3. So it's going to be negative 36 over 2 times negative 3 is negative 6. Negative signs cancel out. 36 divided by 6 is 6. So at what, x, at what value will, x, will f of x reach its maximum value? Well, it's actually not 6, because remember, we have to shift it two units to the right. So shifting this two units to the right is going to bring it to 8. So this is the value of x at which f of x will reach its maximum value, and that's going to be our final answer. As always, thank you for liking and subscribing, and I'll see you in the next video.